Hey, Mom and Dad, I want to take you through the homework that I sent home with the kids today. Um, it is a math paper, and it's titled How Many More to Get to 100. And um, in order to get credit for the homework, they have to solve every problem, and they have to use an equation to record their strategy. And it refers right here to a 100 chart. That's what this is. They brought two of these home each, so they have plenty of room to work, or a number line. Uh, and show how you use these tools. So I'm going to go ahead and go to this first one. Uh, and these are all, these are how many more problems? So the majority of them I have it. Um, the majority of them are going to be subtraction because how many more? Ask them about Miss Minimore. They met her the other day. Miss Minimore tells them to subtract whenever they're comparing um, different numbers. And so how much farther? How much more? How much heavier? How much taller? Uh, anything like that, Miss Minimore is there to help them out and help them to remember that it is time to subtract. Now, sometimes when you subtract, you actually do wind up doing some addition, so that's okay because subtraction and addition are, um, you know, opposites of each other and, uh, and they do help each other out. Okay, so let me get to, I'm going to do number line first, and so let me get to the problem. Missy went to the sticker station and bought 28 animal stickers, so that's how much she has. How many more does she need to have 100 animal stickers? So how many more to get to 100? So that's 100 minus 28 equals um, how many more she needs, okay? Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do a number line. She could, you could also, hang on, you could write the equation this way too. You could do 28 plus something get you to 100. So, the, and it's good that they can see both of those. Let me just quickly do an unmarked number line. Unmarked number line is when the number line is not pre-marked for the student and they have to mark it themselves. Put my 28th year, I'm going to put my 100 here, and I'm going to just create my hops on the number line. I'm going to hop one, get me to 29, hop another one, get me to 30. Now that I'm at 30, I'm going to go ahead and hop 20 and get myself to 50. Holy cow, I'm at 50, let's just go to 100. That's another 50. And now I'm just going to gather my addends. The addends are the numbers in a an addition problem. So if I add these up, 50 plus 20 plus 1 plus 1, that gets me 5 plus 2 is 7. So 50 plus 20 is 70, 71, 72. And so my answer is um, 72. And I can check that by going ahead over here in the margin and doing 72 plus 28. And um, I taught them how to do the touch count. So if you have 8, 9, 10, put the 0 down, carry the 1. 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, a lot of kids won't need that, but for kids who have a harder time uh, visualizing that addition problem, that's something quick they can do. Or they can do a totally different addition problem. They can go 72 plus 28 equals um, 70 plus 2 plus 20 plus 8. And they can break it down that way. 70 plus 20 is going to be 90. 2 plus 8 is 10. And there's their 100. So whatever is making sense to them. So that's how you use an unmarked number line. Um, all right, so the hundreds chart. I'm going to take the same problem. I'm going to take it to the hundreds chart. Uh, so my starter number was 28. So I'm going to get my highlighter. And here's my 28. And I need to know the difference between 28 and 100. And so I'm going to put my two markings right there. Okay, so now I'm going to do my, my travels on the hundreds chart. I'm going to go down one. That's 10. Down another, that's 10. Down another, that's 10. I'm going to keep on going, just like this, hopping 10 at a time on my number line. Um, now I'm going to go over 1, over 1, and now I'm just going to gather up my moves. So every arrow has to have a number. This arrow was a move of 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Here's my number for this arrow, 71, 72. And there's my answer, 72. Same thing that I got on my original number line. Now I'm going to flip it over and show you there's more than one way to hop on a hundreds chart. And so here's my 28. Here's my 100. And I'm going to try to go fast because I only have 20 seconds left. Um, right up here, I can do one hop, one hop. And so that's a one, that's a one. 30, I can go all the way down to 50. And there's a 20, and then from 50 I can go all the way to 100, there's a 50, and then 50, 60, 70, 71, 72. And I can get it that way as well. So that's another way to do it. And there's lots of ways. Like I've just shown you um, uh, two, 